Aloha. This video I wanted to make real quick um, just to review a little bit more of the Owen Benjamin algorithm not to focus too much on the individual the microcosm that is Owen Benjamin but to emphasize the macrocosm that is the distraction the deflection the controlled opposition and the sucking of your attention into uh, a storyline or a movement or a, a frame of thought that is based upon limiting you within the frameworks of the overall macro mind controls so just like TYT and Alex Jones are like midstream media so-called truthers you know that it's designed to their approach to the system is to protect the system to in a sense um, treat the system as if it still like as if it ever had any uh, validity in existing and, and as if as if it's just broken and it just needs to be fixed and then things will all be better no this was meant to be working the way it's working right now it's meant to create chaos it's meant to act the same way that it was designed to be so a lot, uh, a lot of the reasons why people are having difficulty with the so-called truth or information is because they're playing both sides of the fence. Some people haven't gone... See, you can't see if you're playing both sides of the fence until you have done that internal work and have cleared out all of that nonsense, garbage, and parasitic consciousness that keeps you trapped within the consciousness of these, these uh, midstream information information bubbles so this is why I make these videos here and there to give different examples of how uh, that not only the mainstream media but we as individuals adopt these these um, limitation programs that could drive us either off a cliff or into the ground and I'm not saying limitations are bad what I'm saying is that limitations with the intent to consume your time with the intent to uh, channel your energy your focus your entire in your 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 entire um, approach into another mind control program that is the most um, dangerous thing that I'm seeing out here right now this is why I emphasis emphasize so much um, attention on like the new age agenda because that's the up and coming up and coming new age new world order agenda they're not going to come out with a new world order and say look at our boots look at our guns look at our fancy this and that and our shields and all this you should just follow us because we're strong and we do this no they're going to come out you know wanting or um, playing to your loving side because you had already been controlled with fear war and destruction and ignorance now the, the system, the only play that the system has is to control you with love and so-called truth and new information and new theories and new religion and new technology and new ways of living, new society, sustainable energy, free energy, um, new morals, new values, new ethics, new, um, new everything. But... The point is, this newness is coming from the foundations of the old paradigm that created the same problems to begin with, that we're dealing with right now. So if individuals are not expanding their consciousness outside of the system that created the original problems in the first place, you are going to entrap yourself again. People like Owen Benjamin, Joe Rogan... Um, and all these other individuals who are not addressing the macrocosm, the system itself, they're still paying attention to the information within the system. Just like somebody was telling that uh, came to me on the comment section today, uh, on the video that I just did with Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about the most significant thing that happened to our species was when Christopher Columbus came to the so-called New World or the Americas. So that's the mentality that this system has to start on in order for you to worship the so-called evolutionary peak of our human existence. So this individual, so I'm talking about the origins of the, the overall 
macrocosm system with that video and people with the with who are trapped within that truther vibe just the same way the new age community has a, a particular vibe people who are, who are trapped in, in that vibe is designed to trap people people who are within that stream of consciousness uh think that if you are not if you are not uh, addressing like like what like uh for example what they were saying the this the Covington kids or whoever it was um the the MAGA hat you know teenagers from a school who were engaging with the the Native American guy with the drum all that shit is is no different than uh, a breaking news story from CNN, MSNBC, or Fox News. It's the same shit. And that's literally what it is. So this is why I'm saying this is why people are coming at me like, oh, you should be doing this. I'm like, no, you you are trapped in a frame of thought that is reactionary to mind control programs. Once you break that mind control program of the linear sort of in the moment distraction, then you can challenge yourself to see the macro storyline of what's going on outside of that. But the majority of people who are in social media consciousness, they're looking for the next thread. They're looking because that's the thing, the, le the next linear thread that's going to get them to the next thread. So people are going from thread to thread to thread to thread, and they're never weaving anything within the consciousness of their existence. They're, they're just going from one thread, cutting the line there, and going from another one. It's never They're never making the connections. So people are consuming their realities with all of this thread. They're in a, bu a tangled bunch of shit, and they think that all that tangled bunch of shit is just in this big ball of confusion. And now, since people have something tangible to hold on to, they, they 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 show you their ball of you know tangled mess and say you know why aren't you talking about this why aren't you doing that where it, well in my case i'm not speaking about that information specifically because i am aware personally of the overall storyline which that storyline fits within so this is the this is the kind of mind frame that i was explaining in reference to the linear and non-linear approaches or people can compare it to the patriarchal system and the matriarchal or the patriarchal matriarchy um, kind of mindset to where if you don't have the balances of the feminine and the masculine, the dark, light and the dark, and the electric and the magnetic, you're going to be out of whack. You're going to be out of balance. So individuals like Owen Benjamin are the ones that are out of whack but appear to be normal in an abnormal system so they seem normal br having broken away seemingly from this broken system but they haven't broken away internally from the system they're still either escaping the system which means you're still attached to it or they're trying to fix the system or protect the system or defend the system in some kind of way you can't be a so-called truther outside of the system and still be protecting big, huge chunks of the system. So when Owen Benjamin starts talking about like Dave Chappelle, this is a good microcosm of the macrocosm. And he's his own macrocosm now, uh, in a way, because just for comparison purposes, the way... Owen Benjamin approaches Dave Chappelle in this discussion is the same way modern Western society hits us, the indigenous people that they call primitive and savages who are of a lower consciousness, who, who needed Christopher Columbus to invade and destroy and genocide and poison us in order to evolve our human consciousness to what? To today? This is this is the evolution. This is what we should have been looking for. This is what this is the best thing to happen to our species. Like what the fuck is our species to to begin with? To first of all, now you're saying that Christopher Columbus, like with all the information that's going on with, you know, Columbus Day, Thanksgiving, and then that whole indigenous storyline. The same way I was just watching one of the comedians. I can't remember his name from the daily show roy wood jr yeah um he was talking about damn it what was he talking about protesting wasn't the protesting part um 
I think it was the veterans or something like that. How they put the veterans out there. Yeah, it was the veterans. How they they always do the 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 veterans appreciation thing before the Super Bowl and the the World Series and they, like all this stuff because the Gladiator Arena is a nationalistic mind control program. So it's kind of like setting it up like this is an this this is a unifying agent the nba the nfl the mlb all these nationalistic sports events they they are they are not for your entertainment they're for your nationalism that's that it's to distract you it's to soften up and pretty prettify uh your enslavement so now you're not a slave you're wearing a slave master's name on a jersey of the new or the, you know the new orleans saints or the the patriots or the steelers or the raiders or whatever it is so you're you're like three layers separated from even acknowledging the depths of your own enslavement so individuals like owen benjamin are there to complexify the streams of consciousness that keep you from going to the depths of realizing your own enslavement so they add complexities to the the um the in-between realms of thought that uh, are there to hold you back from going back to yourself from you know releasing yourself from all of these constructs of mind controllers uh, so this is why there's there, there's a constant influx of so-called new people uh, that are coming into the scene. There's, and this is just the beginning. And th this is what's going to happen. Look at how, you know, Owen Benjamin is portraying himself to look like a regular person. So like, this is what's this is what Hollywood is going to do in order to or Hollywood as an example of the system and also specifically Hollywood is what what it's going to do to defend and protect itself it needs to humanize it, it it needs to humanize itself because it's been distant from the people for so long but it's been playing as the voice of the people at the same time so now in order to humanize and make it more real just like they they just hold back a lot of technology to make you want it more so they held back the information or the interaction with these celebrities and these athletes and all this other stuff they held it back for as long as possible till they couldn't hold it back anymore until people started speaking up so enter in the people who are you know starting to say something they held it back as long as possible for the same reasons they hold back technology and when the seams start to break that's when the system will start to co-opt and either take out some of these celebrities and athletes or or threaten them and make them work for them and and promote the new agenda so this is your alex jones this is your tyt your your uh, um your so-called truther community your new agers your eckert tully's like all on the outskirts, the, the, all the people who are connect, connected to the Oprah Super Soul Sunday Network, like that's all pre-game programming for the New World religion. Pre-game programming for the New World political scene is was like Bernie Sanders, the term aggressive progressive, the implosion of the Democrats and, and the Republicans, the um, explosion of the entire system being seen for what it is, what it was and what it's trying to be. Like all these things are being seen. And now the damage control for that is to, um, while people are so distracted by the nonsense and so-called fake news and all the, the bullshit Trump stuff and uh, all these protests that are, you know, paid and sponsored by the system and all these um, little kind of little sparks of something's going on with like the Covington kids and, and the Native American guy to, to, to make the discussion to initiate only a small percentage of the macro discussion to make it appear like the macro discussion is being discussed it's not it's being orchestrated only a small percentage of the the, the bigger storyline is being orchestrated just so you can accept whatever it is 
that the system it, because you still believe that the system cares about you you still be this is what's had this is what's slowing things down from actually changing it's the so-called truthers it's the so-called people the, the people with the information to break this system who are not using that information to break this system they're only using it for their own little streams of focus so this is why you have so-called truthers who are only focused on flat earth so you have, and they get into flat earth and then they realize that they're actually in search for so-called truth or a better word would just be information about what the fuck is going on around here. So what happens with a lot of flat earthers or anybody in the so-called truth community, but flat earthers is a good example. What happens with flat earthers is that flat earth is so-called, is, is very tangible. Uh, heliocentrism, the, that bullshit, it, it's very tangible. So it's very easy to understand what's going on. But what happens is in that tangibility, in that easy sort of segue into this, you have people who are going into it, but they don't know where to go once they get there. They don't know what to do once they get all that information. So what they do is they start to defend that information and create a universe around that information. And the only thing that matters is the universe around that information. But that's the thing. You're not really going in to the perspectives that encompass that entire mind control program because you haven't equipped yourself with realizing that information from the internal perspective. People are going into this internal information from an external coding. They are coded externally still, which is why so-called flat earthers are still, you know, begging and hoping and waiting for the mainstream media to acknowledge them. So I just saw a DITRH VR uh, video recently. It was like 30 seconds or something like that. It was like some secret shit. People know what I'm talking about. And then I clicked on it and all it says was, hey, guys, the earth is flat. And it was like, I guess it was, you know, to meant to be like a trigger video for people. But this is three years later and you're still doing these little trigger video shits like in reference to uh, uh, the linear thought frame of flat earth. Like how could, the, the channels and the information themselves are also a representation of consciousness itself not 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 going into like judgment and expectations on people to do whatever it is in, in and around that just to emphasize the point that some information in reference to a a, a larger storyline is actually more dangerous than no information to a larger storyline it can be and in, in, in many cases and especially in this case it's more dangerous, especially when people know what I'm talking about with the New Age community. It's happening with the truther community. Look at Alex Jones. Look at how dangerous he is for people who know what I'm talking about. TYT. Look at Bernie Sanders. How much you know information does he share that's not like what's shared with like the Clintons and Bushes and all those other Obamas and all that other stuff? And, and like I said, this is just an example, just to just to show the differences between information streams point is that's meant to be that way and just as bernie sanders traps you into an aggressive progressive thought process people like owen benjamin trap you in to uh this truther i'm breaking free from the system thought process but it's not it's only appearing to be because like i said once these individuals uh are once the shit really hits the fan, these fucking people are going to disappear. You're not going to see him. This is why he's building a fucking fence. This is what he's saying. He's letting you know he don't give a fuck about you. He, he He's just getting money from your ass. He don't give one fuck about you. He's literally saying, I'm building a fence to keep these motherfuckers out my my space on stolen land, by the way. To keep these people out of my space because I know the world is coming to an, uh, you know, uh, this, this world is coming to an end. And eventually people are going to be coming out for some of us. And, you know, there's going to be some shit that's going to be fucked up out there. And my ass is all right. I'm good. I'm hearing, you know, 
Hoboken, fucking Idaho or whatever. I'm protected. And, you know, I got my fence. I got my money. I, I made my celebrityism. Now I can just go on the internet and say whatever the fuck I want because I'm protected. And then when the shit hits the fan, like I said, where the fuck are these people going to be? I'm not saying they're supposed to be out on protests and all that other stuff. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that the overall, the the, the very the the, the overall storyline is that celebrities, actors, activists, all these people like Owen Benjamin, these motherfuckers are gonna be ghosts. In fact, they're already ghosts. They've been ghosts. A lot of these people have been knowing this information that we're talking about for hell of years, and they ain't said shit about this. That's why people are also not talking about this stuff that's going on. Because when you're in those 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 circles, you are revealed information. And if you say anything about that, it's just like these gangs and, and, and mobs and all that other stuff. These are big ass gangs. So in order to keep people's focus on the storylines that need to be to keep people down. So like I said, this is why you always see comedians always doing jokes about Bill Cosby. Always, always, do, you know, specifically out of nowhere, the Colbert Show, the Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, all these like uh, prominent comedians, they are told in many different ways and they play that game of keeping the the atmosphere of the uh, the Western persona that includes uh, looking like a, 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 a successful so-called Caucasian man. Keep that above everybody else by keeping everybody else down. So when any kind of black or brown, so-called black or brown individual fucks up, whether they're famous or not, you will see the system jump on that like white on rice hard as fuck. They will jump on that and they will emphasize that for months and years. This is why you still see Bill Cosby shit. And then this is, and the other side is that when you see like the gods of egypt's movies anything that's on a beneficial side what do they do they say they did it they say oh yeah we built the pyramids and then those were just the slaves who you know did this and this so this is this is the storyline that individuals like owen benjamin are protecting whether they're aware of it or not so by him coming at dave Chappelle, he adds credibility to his street cred he adds weight to his street cred by going at Dave Chappelle because Dave Chappelle seems, you know, appears to be kind of like a fringe, like a borderline truth. You get, you get this sense from Dave Chappelle, and, and this is a very, like, shallow sense, but it's out there. You get this sense from Dave Chappelle that, and it comes, a lot of it comes from his, his, uh, his show. Because he was revealing a lot of information, but in, in some of his stand-ups too. But the thing is... You get this feeling that he's he's some kind of truther and he's only really not saying anything because he's like a family man protecting it. He's only playing the game or whatever. No, he's just as fucking bad as Owen Benjamin. He's the same fucking character in that shit. In fact, he's worse in many different ways because of, you know, the responsibility that he has to the people who have been broken and enslaved right on the fucking land. So like I said, I mentioned stolen land before. And, and just being like, I'm all right, fuck you and everybody else. D Dave Chappelle doing the same shit. So this ain't got nothing to do with, you know, whatever, whatever. People are going to get in their little butthurt feelings. I'm talking about the overall approach to what's going on here. So back into the shit. Individuals, you know, emphasizing a microcosm to make it appear like a macrocosm storyline. Owen Benjamin, in order to, like I said, add to his street value, his street cred, he has to uh, beat down on people who are already out there. And to make him more real, he has to burn through or break the bar the race barrier. This is what Owen Benjamin represents. He's like the personification of you know, white people taking charge and you know facing the race problem. The, the, he's not. He's making it worse. He's just he's just trying to downplay it by using the word nigger and nigga and all this other stuff. And you're gonna see all this. He's just he's playing a fucking role. He's a fucking child. He's a child consciousness. He doesn't know what the fuck to do. Just like they say with just imagine when you give like a, a teenager a child millions of dollars or something and all this fucking responsibility. What are they gonna do with it? 
They're not going to do anything. They're going to do something that's going to fuck them up or fuck somebody else up. This is what Owen Benjamin is doing. So I've emphasized enough what this dude represents, what he does, and how uh, his approach to attack other individuals is, uh, like, um, specifically the way, like, Bill Cosby, Michael Jackson, uh, and Dave, he's attacking Dave Chappelle right now. Um, this is all the same code. It's the same algorithm. And like I said in, in the, alg the Owen Benjamin algorithm, he's a little bit more extreme than uh, like stand up comedy because it, it seems more real. It's off the, you know, it's off the cuff. It's with a live chat. Uh, it's live streaming. You know, it's all this other stuff. So there's more attached to it. Let's just play this video so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, now that, excuse me, now that we see how these two distractions like Dave Chappelle's a distraction Owen Benjamin's a distraction they're the same shit Roy Wood Jr. he's a distraction too like he he mentioned you know the veterans he mentions um you know so-called black people not even you know really needing to protest anything else because all the all the protests that go on today are an extension are just an extension of what we already protested for what the black panthers had already uh, emphasized what you know 50 fucking years ago so you know what are we really talking about here so that's that's what um roy would do but and then and then that gets channeled into in when it's done in stand-up when that stuff is said in said in stand-up you know it's all caught up in the bubble of what this individual this microcosm individual uh also believes and and values and so on and so forth so they talk about this stuff but like i said on benjamin the way he was talking about flat earth and then just kind of dropped it and then just started talking about building a fence and you know all this other bullshit it's to desensitize you to the depths of the macrocosm storyline so just just as owen benjamin is desensitizing you to flat earth and and the lie and all that other stuff in order to keep the system afloat roy wood jr is desensitizing you to the depths of the uh, white supremacy racist programming that needs to be healed and dealt with and acknowledged in so many different ways. This is the same program. So let's play this and see what the fuck is going on. This dude's a piece of shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot. So I'm going to play. Hold on. Uh, how am I going to do this? Um... I'll just take this mic out and play it real quick and you can hear it. You can hear it in the background. Listen to it in the background and then I'll just plug this in and then cuz it's going to keep recording, I hope so. Yeah, it's going to keep recording. So I'll play it back in. Are you sure the guy doesn't want you to have any of this technology or this energy? Mm, what? I can't hear you. Okay, so now he's he's taunting this man. Let me turn the air conditioner off. What did you say? And then niggas be like, get away from me, ye. You tried to tempt me with the devil. All right, so now he's trying to imply that they're, like, stupid, right? Like, like uh, putting putting all your stuff and saying, you stupid, you don't have this stuff. And you're also talking like an idiot. Like, them, them niggas be on them horses, and I pull over in my Porsche, and I'm like, you sound like an idiot. Okay, the beginning was great. There. Okay, so for context, I forgot, and I didn't play it from the beginning. Owen Benjamin is attacking Dave Chappelle because Dave Chappelle used the Amish people as a, the butt of a joke in his stand-up. And basically what he was saying was, you know, he, he, the, the, the Amish people's, you know, I have respect for everybody else's, you know, religion and all this other stuff, but Amish people, y'all are fucked up. Y'all have like a, y'all's God is full of shit because you still running around in horse and buggy and blah, 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 blah. So Dave Chappelle in that moment is doing the work of like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil, let me plug this one back in. He's doing the work of Neil deGrasse Tyson by worshiping or playing the role of like, oh, this is, you know, this is what evolution is supposed to be like. This is what the world's supposed to be like. And the fucking Amish people out here, like the Native Americans and the indigenous people around the world, those primitive and savage beastly fuckers. They're the ones holding us back. Like he's held, like Dave Chappelle is held back in traffic by a horse and buggy because his Porsche can't go by. You know, 
So, yeah, obviously that's fucked up. But what I'm saying is that when Owen Benjamin takes that to hold Dave Chappelle down, he's no different. In actual, in actual fact, he's worse because he's he's protecting a larger agenda. So let's see, let's see what he. Let's do it. Let me say upset somebody. Uh, I really like uh, I really like the line, uh, motherfuckers are so sensitive the whole country is turned into bitch ass niggas. I mean, I wouldn't say it like that because I'm not a street black. But, a street um, black. Or like generation butt hurt. Like, that's really, it's true. Motherfucker's so sensitive, the whole country's turned into bitch ass niggas. Because that got a big applause break. That was a true statement. Another funny thing he said. So I'm in concert, and there's a couple in, front, in the front row. Beautiful couple. The wife. The wife was obviously Asian. You could see it in, the, in her face. Hilarious. Because that's where you can see someone's Asian. And it, it's like, and he let that pause. This is how, this is how talented he is. He, this is why I'm angry. Because he's using it for the dark side. <laughs> So you let that pause happen, and people are like, that sounds really racist, but if you think about it, it's exactly what reality is. And that's the beauty of Dave Chappelle, is just saying what reality is. So then he has, it's like the white, black bitch that's in the news all the time, Rachel Dolezal. Don't get me wrong, I love that he's mocking these people, but just look at the spin he puts on it. She always says, she, 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 she's a white woman, but then she dressed up like a nigger and shot her way up to the top of blackness. And I always want to meet her, just so I can understand. I just want to... So let me put this back in first. Hold on. So the point of sharing that is to emphasize the way we are trapped within the microcosm and never get to address the macrocosm. The way Owen Benjamin is attacking Dave Chappelle is a perfect example of how new world, new age, colonial minded, Western society, uh, white supremacy... Um, so-called white people attack the black and brown peoples of the world many in, in many cases and most of the time in order to protect their glory, their world, their universe, what they have built over the generations and centuries. Owen Benjamin is another example. He's just a complex example of that. And you can see that the only way he feels confident in, you know, gaining his street cred in that world is by working with within the system that he he's also a part of. So in the comedy world. So Dave Chappelle is at the top of the comedy. Uh, he's at the top of the comedy pyramid right now. So in order for Owen Benjamin to challenge the title of the you know comedy pyramid he has to go to the top and since he's a so-called truther now he's gonna go after now he he has a little more cred than Chappelle because Chappelle doesn't have that truther street cred he just has the selling out for the system but he does it in like a smart way and so on and so forth so this is how the the the, the activists within this system the puppets within within the system gain their their um their weight and their you know they make it seem like there's they they matter in your world in some kind of way but in actual fact you're in a totally different universe they don't give a fuck about you in fact they're only saying and sharing this information um in order to control your ass so that's pretty much what I wanted to share with this video. I just wanted to emphasize like many, because I saw this and I guess it was just uploaded today or yesterday. I just saw this video here and uh, it was a good, it was a good um, addition to the last video I just did with Neil deGrasse Tyson and Joe Rogan, uh, you know, channeling yours. It was just blatant in that one where he says, look, the best thing to happen to the whole world. The best thing that happened to the human species was when Christopher Columbus came and genocided the primitive and savage indigenous people, and then we we had the we had the uh, free free will to genocide and and take over the rest of the world. That's the con that that is the consciousness of this this modern um, society. And until that gets acknowledged, see, the, and you have people 
who don't you're not do you have people who are not going to be able to acknowledge or even see that that exists because you can only see that if you if you see this stuff this you like I own Benjamin Dave Chappelle and all these other you can only see that if you see it from like an internal eye from the inside out if you look at it with just your external eyes you're going to get sucked into the Black Lives Matter storyline the George Soros the Alex Jones the TYT the Owen Benjamin the Mark and Patricia's the the new age communities you're going to get sucked in to all those midstream truther consciousness bogus ass bullshit storylines because you haven't equipped yourself to shield yourself from being subjected to that bullshit and I've, I've 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 given examples of this many different times in many different ways on other videos on this channel. So uh, if you're new to this channel, check out the videos in the description that are uh, good examples of you know what I just said. If it's still confusing in any kind of way, but the main point was to um, share some light on you know a, a more complex version of Owen Benjamin and use you know the way he is going at Dave Chappelle or has gone at Dave Chappelle as an example of how that fits in the macrocosm, how we are attacked day in and day out about, you know, what's going on. Another video I was watching was, uh, uh, oh, I think it was in the Roy Wood Jr. Uh, uh, stand-up thing, see if I can remember it, because he was talking about liquor stores or something like that. Um, Damn it, maybe it wasn't that video. It was in some other video where somebody says, there's like four liquor stores. Oh, I think he did say that. Was it in there? I think it was when he was talking about Luke Cage or something like that. Or maybe it was something else. But um, so it was a joke or some kind of thing that said something like, it's four liquor stores within like a city block or something like that. And, and as if that's like... um something crazy but no that's still happening today you know there, there's four there was four liquor liquor stores around my apartment in west oakland when i was in uh high school it was four just you know within walking there's more than that actually in that one little block there was one two three four just four on that same slab <laughs> on that on that same like uh you can walk from one like from one corner so one square slab in a city you had four on that slab and then you had like some that were just on the ki kitty corner from that slab on the corners there so you you at least had um four just in one area and then potentially like six to eight in certain areas like w within two minutes of walking you could potentially walk by eight liquor stores that's what it was they were saying that it wasn't the roy wood jr and i'll close it out on this because um this is another good example of the storylines being portrayed to uh, emphasize something this is not to take away to what's happening on the native american reservations but it's also not to make it seem like the native americans you know um are uh you know like oh poor me and poor poor native americans no they don't want that shit either they, they don't want people saying oh poor they, no they're strong people like they're gonna figure this shit out and they're they, you know what i'm talking about in in this moment is that like even in the documentary that i shared in that last video where they were talking about the liquor stores uh, being over the state line in Nebraska from a Native American reservation and that Native American reservation is a dry reservation but it doesn't make any it doesn't matter if they can just walk across the state line over to a city that's owned by so-called white people um, where they have four liquor stores right on the state border or state line border four liquor stores right there and then they, they talk about how, you know, oh, that's a horrible situation for, you know, the Native Americans, which is true. Obviously, it's true. It's it, it's not a <laughs> it's not a good thing. It's obviously a bad thing that that's going on. And there's an intelligence or a, there's a, a an intention behind that. But what I'm saying is that 
we we focus so much on the things that we're told to focus on that we don't look at the other things that also exist parallel to the things that we're focused on that give us that give that that send us into seeing the larger pictures that are in, in, involved in like the macrocosm. So yeah, in that documentary, it brought light just like on Ben Benjamin is bringing light to certain storylines. That documentary talking about the four liquor stores being uh, just over the border of a Native American reservation contributing to all the crime. 99.9% .9 of the crime on there is due to alcohol-related shit on a dry reservation. Where's the alcohol coming from? It's coming from the same consciousness that created the self-implosion problems through colonialism. It's still happening today. So people don't look at that shit. So point is systems or uh limitation truth or consciousness wants you to focus on just like flat earth limited consciousness only wants you to focus on flat versus globe it doesn't want you to go into the human story or or the uh the realm story or you know all this other stories about that are way bigger in my you know perspective is way bigger than flat versus globe just as much as that is limited, it shrunk down to basically nothing, like a little chicken nugget. Like all this whole world of information for, for surrounding Flat Earth. And then it gets shrunk down online on YouTube through like Flat Earth and Hot Potatoes and Mark Sargent and Math Powerland and Jaronism and all these DITRH. They suck all they suck a world of fucking information dealing with Flat Earth down to a little fucking chicken nugget. A McDonald's chicken nugget and a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. And then they defend that one chicken, not even a whole fucking Happy Meal. One chicken nugget and one Happy Meal toy. And then they defend that against you because I'm like what happy meal and chicken nugget are you bringing to the table oh you're talking about, that doesn't even matter you're racist you're divisive why don't you like this chicken nugget we haven't been eating anything in so you know see so the the way information is 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 shared is that same sort of thing and like i said to uh close this out to emphasize that point um, the chicken nugget of that, that documentary is telling you, yes, focus on like, like deal or, or handle the situation that's um, killing Native American people on Native American reservations uh, or bring light, share some information about that. But never allow yourself to, to um, just be so simple to leave it at that. Realize that there's an intelligence, there's a focus, there's an intention behind that. Somebody or something, some kind of consciousness is making that shit happen, is maintaining that problem. Focus on that so you can deal with the actual cancer instead of the side effects to the cancer. See, Owen Benjamin is a manifestation of making you focus on the side effects of the cancer. He doesn't know about the fucking cancer because he's a manifestation of the fucking cancer itself. His consciousness is maxing out at online truth. Because that's the external truth. They don't do any internal work. That's why a lot of these so-called truthers seem and appear to be fucking man children. They are fucking children in so many different ways. They don't have a shred of, of leadership or an ounce of anything. They, they're nothing in them. They have no kind of uh, truly masculine qualities or truly true leadership qualities in any kind of way. They only have regurgitation qualities. They can't think for themselves. They can only appear to be thinking for themselves. See, Owen Benjamin does hours and hours of what? Talking about what? Talking about the uh, like the systems within systems. That's not thinking for yourself. That's thinking within the system that created that system in the first place. So he's made a business out of that. Just, I mean, he didn't, he didn't invent that. I mean, Alex Jones has been doing it with the bone broth and all that other shit. TYT's doing it. Instead of selling products like bone broth, they just sell politics. They're selling, they're resell, repackaging the capitalistic system into this democratic 
socialism, capitalism world that is prepping you for the um, international capitalistic socialism merge or you know whatever it is that they're you know trying to do or getting ready to do with the new so-called new world order so i didn't get to finish the point with the uh the whole native american story in the in the liquor stores the thing is the point was and people already know what i'm talking about yeah we focus on the four liquor stores that are sitting on the other side of the native american reservation in the so-called white town of white clay um that has four liquor stores in like one little tiny city they're killing the native american reservation on purpose see we focus on that and yes that's a big ass problem but you don't focus you don't pay any attention to the 30 fucking liquor stores installed in east west oakland in a fucking two mile or one mile radius we don't see that as a reservation. We don't see that as an intention to destroy, control, and, 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 and obliterate an entire race of people. You don't see the plan. You don't see them talking about all the Planned Parenthoods that are in the majority. 75% of the Planned Parenthoods are in black and brown, black and brown neighborhoods. So you got people be, this is the depopulation program. That's why they got to tell you there's an overpopulation problem. Because they're trying to hide the fact that they are depopulating your black and brown ass. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't want Benjamin either. If he had any shred of fucking, uh, what's the word? Uh, humility in him. He would realize his fucking place in this situation and not fucking you know, like attack a microcosm like Dave Chappelle because Dave Chappelle could destroy Owen Benjamin with just telling the truth about how he is protecting this colonial consciousness that ain't got shit to do with comedy and all this other bullshit. He's trying to push like force himself into the discussion. And he's being helped by YouTube algorithms and Google out. It's the same thing. Google algorithms. The same way mainstream media, YouTube puts this trending page out there. So he's trying to do it on his own. The more waves that he makes, the more money that he gets back to him. And these individuals are supported by YouTube, that whole system. As much as they want to make it seem like they're not being supported by Google and YouTube, fuck that. We know who the ones who are not being supported by YouTube and Google. And these fucking man children like Owen Benjamin, Alex Jones, Joe Rogan, all the other fucking lackeys that are out there, they are the main ones protecting that system just long enough for you to not have any ha have any response to when the system makes its 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 new world move. Because like I said, when it does make its new world move, these fuckers are just going to either defend that move and say, oh, well, we just got to go with it. We don't have any power. We don't. They're, they're there to make you hopeless, to make you, to dumb you down, to normalize the situation, or they'll just disappear. One of the two. And their job is done. They came in to distract you, to emphasize the, the storyline of trapping you here in that mind control program. And then once they, 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 they're, they're done once their capabilities have been maxed out they'll just be thrown away like a used rag or they'll figure out that they were actually part of the fucking problem more than anybody else and then they will quietly disappear and step to the side because they don't want to be fucking humiliated anymore because they're humiliating themselves Individuals like Owen Benjamin this once he grows out if he ever grows out of that man-child fucking mentality they're coming into a rude awakening because they're going to have all these videos out there on the internet and they're going to look at how they were exactly, they were protecting the program. They were protecting the system, claiming to be against it, but they're still emphasizing it. But in, and this is not to compare uh, Owen Benjamin to Alex Jones and like that. People like Alex Jones know exactly, he knows exactly what he's doing. 
And I'm not saying that Owen Benjamin doesn't know what he's doing. He, I'm, I'm, if anybody, if you could ask me how to say yes or no, does he know exactly what he's doing? I'd have to say yes. Hell yeah. He seems like an intelligent enough dude to be aware of what's going on, especially if you're aware of flat earth and then all of a sudden it don't matter no more. That shit don't seem normal. To just, you know, who the fuck researches flat earth and then starts talking about um, fucking fences and shit? Who the, who, nobody does that. Who starts talking about flat earth and then starts talking about uh, comedians? What the fuck? It, it, that, that's not... So, anyway. I'll leave it there. Um, I just wanted to, to play this to give another... Uh, to, to play this um, perspective. To give another example of how these uh, monsters are growing to... <laughs> To, into whatever it is that they're doing, whatever game they, whatever move they try to make on this chessboard, you know the individuals who are on the board and how they act and react in different situations. So, excuse me. <clears throat> Until next time, thank you for joining me. Thank you for the support. And from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony. <laughs>